85% of Berliners are tenants. In some parts of Berlin, the rent would have quadrupled within the last 10 years, but obviously the salaries did not. Deutsche Wohnen uh, and Corso other corporations such as uh, Vonovia, Achelius, Convivio, PES International, there are huge corporations that operates primarily on financial markets but uses housing, use housing as a source of profit. They have to push up rents and they have to reduce the maintenance cost and therefore decrease the quality of the apartments because their interest is in upping the profits of the shareholders who are spread around the world. And what we, we want to do is we want to capture this income that comes from rents, the, the rents that are paid with our salaries as Berliners, and use it to build more homes in Berlin. Legally speaking, socialization is not nationalization. We are not proposing creating a stiff state-owned company that operates just like a private company um, and is profit-oriented. There is uh, always this accusation that it would bring Germany back to socialism, to which I only respond, we are only as socialist as the German constitution is, because our solution comes from inside of the German constitution. Other misinformation that is being spread is that we would try to expropriate all kinds of landlords, so for example, or not even landlords, but all kinds of owners, people who own one apartment in which they live. This is again not the case. We only want to expropriate big-scale corporate landlords that owns 3,000 or more apartments in the city. If you look who are the shareholders of those corporations, you have the big shadow banks like BlackRock and Blackstones. So we are, you know, it is a David versus Goliath situation. The strength of Berlin and of many big cities was always to to create space, affordable, creative and safe space for as different people as possible so that it creates social cohesion that is extremely creative, that brings new culture, that brings business innovation, that brings community feeling, that brings life that we were all missing during COVID and we want to keep Berlin Berlin. I believe that it is important that this is happening in Germany, which is one of the centers of power of capitalism, global capitalism. So if this is possible in Germany, that means it is possibly uh, doable anywhere.